Okay, I wanted to make this video after the beta was done and all the content creators decided to make their thoughts and opinions about Modern Warfare 2. I personally believe that Modern Warfare 2 is a really good Call of Duty, but for some reason, a lot, and I mean a lot, of content creators are bitching and moaning about the most minute details and little things about the game because it's not like older Call of Duty or it doesn't fit their play style. So I wanted to come on here and give my opinion from somebody who has played Call of Duty since World at War, who doesn't have a big channel, plays a lot of video games, and somebody who genuinely enjoys playing almost any video game and who doesn't play them as a career. So just go ahead and start off. Let's talk about the minimap. I do not believe there's anything wrong with the current minimap. And a lot of content creators and pro players will tell you we should have the old minimap back where you could see the red dot ping whenever somebody shoots. I personally believe that not having a red dot appear when you shoot is a really good decision. And you might be sitting there saying, Logic, just, just put on a silencer, dude. It's not that hard. I don't want to put on a silencer. I would much rather customize my gun the way I want to without having to put a crutch on it or a nerf that a lot of silencers usually give. So being able to shoot without a red dot appearing on the minimap for other people to see, I think is a good idea. And you might be sitting there saying, Logic, how am I supposed to know where they're at? I, I'm not wearing headphones, so how am I supposed to know? Well, I don't know if you know this, a little secret. It was in Modern Warfare 2019, and it's even in Warzone. If you look there at the top, just at the top of the screen, you can see a compass of sorts. And whenever somebody shoots, it shows where they shot at. It's crazy. And while yes, it's not like the old minimap, but at least it gives you some type of visibility of where they're shooting at rather than nothing. And the visibility of the game, I've heard a lot of complaints about that. I think the visibility is pretty good. A big complaint that I always see is nameplates not being shown. While yes, I would say have nameplates shown in 6v6, in ground war or invasion, I think that no nameplates is great. But another major complaint I've been hearing about is footstep audio. And while I will agree footsteps could be toned down a little bit, it is not as bad as people are making it out to be. Both in 6v6 and in ground war, I played exactly the same. I rushed everywhere. I got a lot of kills. I got a lot of deaths. But it didn't take away the enjoyment I had because some guy heard me running. But if you're one of those people who couldn't take the loud footsteps, you know, you could have run dead silence. But then the argument is dead silence is not a perk anymore. I hear a lot of arguments about Dead Silence should be a perk again, and I'm here to tell you right now, no it should not. The reason is, is it is a major, major crutch perk. You mean a perk that eliminates my footsteps almost entirely? But you're also thinking, Logic, isn't Ghost a crutch perk? And to say, no, not really, because you're revealed whenever you shoot. With Ninja, your footsteps are never revealed. That means you would only run that perk ever and it has happened in past call of duties having it as a field upgrade is the best thing it makes you work for something that's really good so no i don't think dead silence should be a perk but speaking of perks the new perk system is another thing i hear people complain about while it isn't perfect i do enjoy it and i do think that it is a breath of fresh air, you could say. I hear a lot of people always saying, Infinity Ward's trying to reinvent the wheel. Should they have changed it? Probably not. Is it bad? No, I don't think it is. You get two base perks, a third perk that's pretty good, and then an ultimate perk, which is really good. Both the second perk and the ultimate perk are on a time slash score basis. As time passes, you will passively get these perks, but the more score you get, you will get these perks faster. There's a general complaint that I always hear for some reason, because I guess they don't know, is what if you join in the middle of a match? Then you're completely screwed. You don't have those perks. And there has been plenty of times that I've joined in the middle of a match and I already have my second or even ultimate perk. I'm pretty sure that there would be a system in place for that so you're not at a big disadvantage compared to other people. Two last things that I want to brush up on. Skill-based matchmaking and the movement. I will always agree with everybody. There should be no skill-based matchmaking in casual. I don't even know why, in general, all Call of Duties lately have been doing skill-based matchmaking when they also have a ranked play mode, at least, I think. But skill-based matchmaking should not be a thing. 
the movement in this game i really like the movement could your character speed be boosted up a little bit of course a little slow for my liking but it's not devastating i like the new way you can parkour up things i like how you can't slide cancel i like the dolphin dive that's really fun but personally to me there are so many positives in this game that i see so many content creators and pro players bashing on because they don't like it because it's not up to their standards because it's not like old call of duty and all I gotta say is you gotta move on. You gotta just play the game. The game isn't gonna cater to everybody, but that doesn't mean it's gonna cater to only pro players or content creators. But just know, I know a lot of people, including my friend who hasn't played Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, that really enjoy this game because it's fun and for the most part, pretty casual. So you can expect me to play it as well as a lot of other people. Thanks for listening. Later.